Yeah, they were the they? hardest colours clearance I've ever done. I mean, I was, I was, it was an it was a terrible colour <laughs> clearance. <laughs> <I'm musician laughs> once, and that was on the, on the black, I think. But you made the rest of it look very nice as well, didn't you? I mean, the, the, the whole of the 15 reds and 15 blacks. Yes, I yeah. mean, you just made light work of it. It was crazy really. because, you know, there's all sorts of things, you know, on the last black, but all I was thinking of was Ken Doherty. Was you really? Oh, honestly, I've got down. I thought there's no one getting up off of this, but I can dock it in my brain. And because of the fact that Tim Mr. Black, Mr. Black, for one for Mr. Black for one match, because like he'd be gutted. Well, let's have a wee relive at it, Steve. Do you want to go through this? Yeah, we're going to break from the start. If you don't mind, we're going to talk through the break. No, I'm not going to talk through the break. You made the break. We're going to have a little have a little look at our monitor there, and obviously you're breaking off. Drew got a shot in this frame. Obviously, he messed up somewhere along the line. Um, well, the first two frames, I, I, you know, Drew had a chance in the first frame and didn't, um, you know, score enough from it. And then I got in and had a 70 odd. Um, but oh, this frame, yeah, I'm getting all confused. Here. And he, he left me a red here, and this, this one on the left hand side of the table. He's speculating on going around the back for a shot to nothing. I know, but uh, you know, when you two 0 down, you, you, you tighten up a little bit, I suppose, yeah. don't you? In the best of nine, and he's left me, a, you know, a, a reasonable chance here. So that was a nice shot because, of course, you can roll this red in, and uh, there's no other red you can actually uh, leave up there, can you? Mm, Wasn't yeah. a bad attempt there by Drew Henry. It was only a no. fraction of. So this was nice, a bit short of pace, but I mean, a little bit, yeah. Well, well, it, it worked out perfect, perfect really, yeah. because you know I was trying to cannon the two reds there on the right hand side, you know, just up there that are together. I was trying to get through that gap and maybe make a, a connection with them to open them up. Yeah. Knowing that, you know, I'd be unlucky not to be on one, really. So this came, came very nicely, didn't it? That was a yeah, I mean, you know, the really split those well. two reds apart. Yeah. I mean, if you're looking from a point of view of making a 147 break, it's you don't want balls touching each other. Not at all, no. You've straight no. away opened up two more reds there. Fra frame no. winning opportunities, will either say. Well, will, will he did at this stage. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, John Virgo, very early on in this uh, frame, I think after two or three reds, yeah, I mean, uh, said that you looked on blob and you were going to go from strength to strength. Yeah, I mean, obviously the, the balls are perfect, 16. you know, they're perfect around the black and that, but I mean, I wasn't thinking of a maxi here. Well, they're not perfect in some ways. I mean, most of them are still tight, aren't they? Uh, uh, but having said that, 17. in a couple of shots, we're going to see that the, the key ball, yeah. the, the key black, yeah. uh, you screw it back here. These exactly. can always go wrong. Yeah, exactly. If you don't get into them, you're on the cushion and then you've got hard red in the middle, but I've but now, um, so in, you're, in your mind, you're trying to get the other side of the black to leave yourself this screw back into the pack. Into the pack. And, and then and bring then back that red. Five. Yeah, Drag back that red over the pocket. It's a bad so pack, isn't it, really? But into the pack yeah. and push this red that's loose into a position, hopefully. But it didn't really go right, did it? Not really, no. I mean, you, you're thinking now, now, oh, no, it's, got, it's, all, it's a mess now. Now I'm thinking, should I just 32. play to win the frame, which obviously you should do. You had a chance of a red into the middle for the blue, Which was, but which was easier. Yeah. This one was into a blind pocket and um, a this little bit cannon in, you know, near that other red. Looked a lot easier on the television screen yeah. to this position than it actually was. But I thought, you know, they, they were split lovely, so you I must have got to go for it, yeah. You must have thought 147 now. Yeah, definitely, yeah. From earlier? No, obviously the balls were nice earlier, but once I've gone in the pack and I had that red, I thought, right, from now on, this is just maxi. You know? But this was a great shot. The, the, this was a, well, not the great shot. That was, that was very missable, queuing yeah, over the top of that. I had to make an angle a little and bit. And you there, forced enough of an angle to get back up the right side mm, of the red. Now it's just about, you know, just trying to keep your composure and, and not get too fast and make a silly mistake because, that's, I mean, that one rattled a bit. I thought I'd miss it. <laughs> I thought, oh, here we go. But, um, you think making making a, uh, a 147 break uh, before helped to make this one easier? Is there less? Was you less nervous on this one? Um, not or really. No, you still. I think you get nervous. Yeah. Even in practice, you want to make the 147s. But in front of a packed crowd and you know the TV cameras are there, you know it's it's always nice to, to do it for the for the for the people. You know. Just before you c came up uh, to our studio. Uh, it was it was timed at six minutes thirty six, I think. Was it? Uh, Which is, I mean, you're, you're slacking, aren't you? Really? I thought I'd slow down a little bit. Yeah. That's still quite, quite a good time, though. But it is quite a good time. Though. It, 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 uh, took me that long to break off one. <laughs> 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 no, but you know, the, they were perfect here, and they were lovely. There was only the one cushion on the right hand, and on the right hand cushion there. You see it? Yeah. Which is a little bit close, and I thought, you know, if I can get that one out of the way early, because you don't want to be take, having to play on that one red. But I played for for two. The one in the middle and one along the cushion. As soon as I got the one on the cushion, quite nice. I thought that that's, that one's got to be but played. The, the, but obviously, as there's less reds uh, on the table, yeah, your options of red start to decrease. Exactly. Yeah. So therefore, that's when a lot of players do come unstuck at the end of a 147 clearance or yeah. even a total clearance. Definitely. Because you've now got to get exactly the right side and choose which red you're going to get the right side of yeah. the black. You can't just have two or three options. Nah. 
This is the one where I play for the red and the side cushion. Always leaving yourself angles on the black. Always exactly, leaving yeah. yourself off straight. Well, if you leave yourself straight, you can only go, you know, one way, and that's backwards. Um, and in this position, you need angles just to make it more simple, especially under the pressure. But I was really feeling it here. I thought, I thought this one in a blind pocket it was, was missable if you don't hit it right. A little bit of a problem with two or three reds around the pink that had to be taken in the right order. Yeah, yeah. But um, I, played, I played this one okay. Um, screwed back for that red the other side of the pink, which then cleared the other red. Yeah. We see if you get. You decide not to go for that red bar to the left hand side of the pink. That's right. Screw back for this one here, and you then that frees up the next red. You got it. So, in it, I suppose for, for, for the amateur player, you could practice you things know. like that, put reds yeah. blocking each other, yeah. and then you could go around and practice uh, clearing the paths for other balls exactly, if you're yeah. a proficient player. Now, this had to be struck right side of the, the reds again. Well, I played, I could have stunned up, but I thought I definitely don't want to leave it short because then it's like history. So, that I thought if I go around the back of that you red. You left yourself on all I've three got, reds I've got there. Two, yeah, exactly. All three reds were potable. 97. Now, now, which one do you choose here? Well, I play for two reds again. I mean, I've yeah. just played to go up between them. And if I get on the one on the right-hand side, well, I was going to take that one. But I thought... Oh, that, that was <laughs> <laughs> That was for the 100. And you always know there's going to be a clap. On yeah, the exactly. And yeah. you think, don't clap, because there's always more important things are going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Don't clap the 100. This is a know, more playing shots like that. I'm thinking, just don't kick. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't kick. Because uh, the balls were kicking last night with me and Steve. They kicked a lot today as well. Yeah. There's a lot of chalk sticking to the ball. Well, this one, just, you know, I know I play at the red in the middle. And I've not really come perfect on this because I'm going away from the black side. I've had to play it with a bit of right hand side. You left yourself a bit well, further away than you wanted. Oh, yeah. But yeah. having said that, as long as you got the black, you were on the yellow. Perfect for the yellow. Yeah. And, then, then, mm. and then now we're getting to the part where it's just a doddle now, isn't it? I mean, this is just a formality. I wish. All of a sudden, they're cheering. They know they've got a chance here. Yeah. You've just got to pop, you've got to pop the colours. Mm. What's going on now? <laughs> card, <I> love it. <laughs> Overscrewed it. I think that's so well. I mean, 122. This shot, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm playing all right with the rest now at, at the moment, but at the start of the season, I could not pot a ball with the rest. But at the moment, I feel like I'm going to pot, you know, most balls that go with the rest. You've got a marvellous pace of it. I mean, if yeah. you're shaking like a leaf, if you were, yeah. to hit the ball with that pace was perfect. It was yeah. superb. This was good as well. Because you struck that well. Mm. And then I was thinking, pink's not on its spot. You know, if it was on the spot, it's a lot easier. But because it was there, I thought, should I play for it in the middle? And I haven't really played anything, to be honest with you. Nah, I sort of hit it. And then not hitting it, thinking you, that the adrenaline will sort of like... Didn't want to hit it too hard, you know what I mean? A little shake of the head there. But you knew this was going around the back of the black, yeah. as long as you just judged this right. I thought, just go in. And yeah, this is where I should be okay. 20,000 pounds coming up. Yeah. Yes, you looked a bit stunned, Ronnie. But yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's nice to have one for a seven, but I didn't want to start running around like a lunatic because I, I don't like that. You know yeah. I, mean? I just thought, just, just keep calm, let everyone else enjoy it. You know, you've just done what you've had to do. And, you know, it's up to the crowd to sort of, but not for me. I mean, I find you just go there and it's, it's just what you do, isn't it? Steve's made the point that there's 20 grand in your back pocket as a result of that. Not Are really you buying the drinks at the bar tonight? No, maybe? no, no. What? I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Actually, one of our, uh, <laughs> our colleagues downstairs, John Parrott, is yeah. a bit disappointed he's not at the party up here. But, John, you've got a question you'd like to ask, Ronnie. Oh, well, first and foremost, well done, pal. I haven't had a chance to shake Cheers, your John. hand yet. Uh, brilliant. Thanks. I think what impressed most of the boys in the players' lounge who was watching it, what a fantastic green under pressure.